Hi, this is a quick video of the legend of Tate's Howl State Forest in Florida. Tate's Howl is just south of Sumatra, Florida, and the Apalachicola National Forest, which has 632,000 plus acres. And purple below is Tate's Howl State Forest with 202,000 plus acres. Jebediah Tate was a superstitious farmer that lived northwest of Carabao in Sumatra, Florida. His only son was born just before the war and he named him Seeb. Jebediah was a Civil War veteran and his wife was half Cherokee Indian. He bought 160 acres for $5 as a homestead grant after the war. Seeb Tate hope I got that name right, helped clear his father's land, chase cattle, and gather pine oil. His mother died from yellow fever sometime after the war. It was hard going and Seeb's father made a pact with a local medicine man for good fortune. As long as they stayed out of the teeny cypress forest and gave him one pig a year, they would have good fortune. For three years they gave up a pig when the medicine man came around and things were good. But in 1874, they decided to keep the pig and deny the old Indian. The medicine man warned them that they would not only see hard times, but they would go through hell. That year, Seeb's father died from malaria, the pine trees gave very little oil, and the sugar cane was stunted, and the scrub cow started to disappear. But the pigs, they ate good and multiplied so fast Seab had to build two new pig pens in the fall. In the spring of 1875, Seab married a mail order bride from New York City. She was a fiery German immigrant. But there was a problem. Seab only had pigs left and she was of the Jewish faith. She ate corn, potatoes, and pancakes with molasses. But she wanted beef. So Seab took off into the woods to find a cow. Any cow to quiet his bride. Armed with a shotgun and accompanied by his hunting dogs, he journeyed into the swamp in search of a cow. His dogs took off chasing a panther, and he lost his gun in the mud. Tate was lost in the swamp for seven days and nights. He went in the dwarf cypress stand to escape the relentless bugs and fell asleep against the trees that were protected by the Indian's magic. He awoke when bitten by a snake and ran blindly through the swamp, delirious from the bite and drinking the murky waters. Finally, he came to a clearing near Carabelle, living only long enough to murmur the words, My name is Seb Tate, and I just came through hell. And ever since, the forest and swamp have been called Tate's Hell. Hey, thanks for watching. 